Hey there guys, welcome back to another video of all things Apple Plus. We have a great video for you guys today. Currently beta 49 of the Uncovered Jailbreak was released about maybe about an hour or two ago. And I wanted to do a quick video on this on the matter and give you guys just a rundown of what's going on. So let's go ahead and get into the middle or the into the matter at hand, I should say. And let's scroll all the way down. We're currently, if you navigate over to my Twitter actually, or even to Ponda Owens Twitter, I retweeted his, just his main tweet of the beta 49 being released. If you you download or if you uh, subscribe or even sign up for github make sure that you do that first before navigating over here and then go ahead and tap on this link and it should bring you to his main page where you're able to see the different releases and the different betas that he's released in the past but we're gonna scroll all the way down to beta 49 and as you can see here there's been a lot of new changes just pretty much the the overhaul or the main message of this is that there's a, a lot of stability issues that have been fixed. So the overnight rebooting s situation where if your device rebooted randomly when you were jailbroken, it, that has been completely fixed. And if you have any sort of issues with any sort of bugs or any sort like optimizing the code, there, that this all has been fixed and this has just been updated. And I think the matter and the good thing about this is that when the actual subst when actually Substrate is uh, released by Sark and is released for to the jailbreak community we will have a solid jailbreak with a firm foundation and we won't have any we shouldn't see so many major flaws within the jailbreak when substrate is finally released so as you can see here just a overhaul of different updates and stability issues uh, fixed at the moment. So if you navigate down over to assets, you can click on assets and you'll be able to see the different IPAs. Make sure that you click on the beta 49 IPA. Now, the reason why I'm doing this over PC and not ignition or not through any third party application like app Valley is currently at the moment, there is just a, just a massive wave of revokes that Apple has done or even the developers have done so themselves. These third-party enterprise applications, these enterprise apps, their developers can also revoke any sort of certificates. So there's just been, a, whether it be them or Apple, there's just been a massive wave of revoke. So this is the best way at the moment to get Beta 49 onto your iDevice. So currently we've downloaded Beta 49, the IPA, and then you're also gonna need City Impactor. What I'll do is I'll leave that in the description down below. So make sure that you navigate over to City Impactor to your, from your computer, and then and make sure that you download the right impactor. It will say Windows, it will say um, Mac OS, or if you have Linux, it'll show which one you can download and they're just the direct download links. So now that we have the impactor and that we have the IPA for uh, for Uncovered, we have our device here. It is currently connected to my PC. So we have our device here. Let's go ahead and navigate over into impactor. We're gonna go ahead and double click on that guy. And then you should see a um, a box populate at the moment. So let's go ahead and wait for that guy to load up for a second. There we go. Okay, let's go ahead and get this guy loaded. So my computer is just a little bit slow, but we're gonna get this guy up and going. So we have the City Impactor application on our device. Next, we're gonna take the actual IPA that we have here that we saved, and we're gonna drag it to the actual uh, City Impactor application. So just take the app, hover it over the application itself here, and then you'll start to see the device or the actual application start to run. So first, you'll need to sign in with your uh, with your iTunes account. So make sure that you turned off any sort of two-party uh, author or authentication. So make sure that you get that get rid of that. Make sure you uh, <laughs> make sure that you have no sort of like uh, two-party or two types of uh, authentication 
on your Apple ID. And you can do that by going to managing or manage your Apple ID via Safari. I'll leave the link for that in the description. Just go under security and then you can change that manually from there. So let's go ahead and type in our iTunes email first. And then next we're gonna need our passcode. So let's go and type in that. Awesome. Now there are a lot of files that will need to be downloaded into your iDevice. So make sure that you're, of course, make sure that your iDevice is currently connected to your PC. And then we should see the application populate right on our home screen. So let's go ahead and wait for that to load. You'll notice where you hit the end tail of the, of the download process when you start to see uh, the uncovered jailbreak IPA uh, being downloaded onto your device. So it's just loading in the different assets, the different files needed to make sure that this guy runs and this is able to jailbreak your device. So again, this is the best way at the moment. Once Ignition and App Valley uh, are able to uh, come online and we're able to see a non-revoke situation, I'll go ahead and post another video on how to do that just in case if you guys haven't uh, done so in the past or if you guys don't if you guys want to check out my other previous videos You guys can also do that and check to see how you can download the betas for your iDevice So again, this will work for all devices running from iOS 12 to 12.1.2 And this will also work for devices that are a 12 devices So your iPhone XR your iPhone XS and your XS Max this will work now for the XS and the XS Max and the XR These devices will this is a partial jailbreak for these devices you will not see Cydia on your device. You will not see any sort of substrate on your device. This is just the partial jailbreak to your device. Now there is different ways that you can still install tweaks, but I'm not going to go through that. I really don't want to mess with my phone's file system. It's a very risky process. If you know what you're doing with that sort of situation, by all means go for it. But for me, I'm definitely not going to mess with any of the files within my system it's just or within my iDevice it's just not worth it to me and I just don't want to end up breaking something that was unintentional so as you can see here we have a lot that's being downloaded onto our devices I'm gonna leave the video running at the moment just so that way you guys can get an idea of how long the process uh, should take so currently we're about the seven minute mark seven minutes and 30 seconds it's taking us just a little bit and I don't, it's not that bad of a, of a way to get this onto your iDevice. Again, if you navigate or if you go through uh, Ignition or App Valley, you will see, of course, a speedier process than this. But this is the true fire, surefire way, I should say, of getting this onto your iDevice. Okay, now it looks like we're at the tail end of this. So I'm gonna show you guys what happens as we're extracting the package and verifying the application. So as you can see here, there's no jump cuts, no nothing. The, the actual device will recognize that uncovers on there and it will go ahead and put uncover onto your device. So let's go ahead and launch that from there. We see an untrusted and, or untrusted developer. So let's go ahead and hit cancel, go into settings. From settings, we're gonna go down to general. Let me go ahead and pull this over just a little bit. From general, we're gonna scroll all the way down to profiles and device management. And then as you can see here, we have the developer application right here with my, with my email. So let's go ahead and tap on that. And then we're going to trust that trust one more time. And then we're going to back out. Let's go ahead and scroll over to uncover and then it should launch normally. So as you can see here, currently at beta 49, we're going to go ahead and hit the jailbreak button and we should see this only work. Maybe if I would assume it's only going to hit maybe once or twice, but if it ends up jailbreaking the first time around, that's going to be actually that's that's your proof that it's going to be uh, that much of a st of a more stable jailbreak. So currently exploiting, and it looks like it jailbroke immediately. So let's go ahead and see what's going on here. So the jailbreak completed. We have the again the created jailbreak directory. We've seen just a uh, a wider range of stability and updates to this jailbreak. So currently, let's go ahead and hit OK. 
and it should back us out to our device. Now our device is it's currently in a jailbroken state. This is a partial jailbreak. Now again, if you know how to root and know how to fix and make tweaks on your iDevice, go right ahead. That is that is your prerogative. But as for me, I'm gonna keep this uh, sort of, my, I'm gonna keep my device just as is and not mess with anything. And as beta has come out, I'm gonna continue to guys, I'm gonna continue to keep showing you guys how to get these different betas. But if you guys did like this video, please like, comment, subscribe, check out my other videos on all things Apple Plus, and I'll be catching you guys on the next one. If you have any questions or comments or concerns, please leave them in the comment section down below. I'll be more than happy to help. Peace.